Oh, shoot. <clears throat> Hello, if you watch this in the replay, make sure you leave a comment make sure you leave a comment and say hello let me know you stop by and, you know just come on and say something so this is going to be nighttime skincare hi bye michelle is this fan too loud michelle can you hear it too much if so i will turn it down let me know right now because it's hotter than hades up in here You see them, girl? You see them, girl? Is this is this fan too loud? Because I don't... Let me turn it down just a little bit because I got it on high. For the greater good, I have turned it down. For the greater good, I have turned it down. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Joshua. All right, so we're going to do some nighttime. Hey, Kim, we're going to do some nighttime skincare. We're going to talk about all these damn new releases. You know, we had a reprieve. It was like a couple of bottle. You know, it was kind of slow out there in the makeup world for a minute. And then it, sp it sped up. It has sped up. Okay, so what am I putting on? So people who watch this later, don't be saying, what did you put on your face? This is the Derma E Radiance Toner. <clears throat> It's a glycolic acid toner. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing first. I have already cleansed my face, of course. Y'all check out these pigtails. Let me tell y'all something. I've been trying to, since I've been wearing these pigtails for the last, since I've been wearing my braids for the last few days, I've been trying to give y'all my, my Jaclyn Hill. You know, I, I followed the Jaclyn Hill video again, again. But I've been so worn out from this damn professional development. Let me tell you something. I'd rather teach kids than sit up here with these damn people all day long. I would... I know, Josh. We'll see. I'm planning it, though. When I do my drugstore back to school, I'm wearing these babies. Because this is part of the look. You got This is part of the back to school uniform. I just didn't understand it. I am not going to do the blow up doll face. I'm not doing that, Michelle. We're not having that. I'm gonna put on my new lipstick and I'm gonna say, I just need to put on lip liner at the end. Don't be surprised if she ain't coming out with a lip liner. I just see. Hi, Keisha. That's it, right? Yes, I said, I saw your post and I stopped to look, I said this for right here i'm not even going to entertain her today i'm trying to be a better person it's hard for me i have to take it day by day i have to take it day by day and you don't be helping my day sometimes okay yes let me go sleep my fingers swell up when i'm sleep makes it hard for me to get off my rings she really we're gonna get we're gonna get sneak peeks of all her stuff soon and if she keeps doing this affordable shit i'm gonna wonder if she's gonna bring her price point down i'm just wondering is she about to bring that price point down okay you might see i'm gonna leave her alone i'm gonna leave her alone Cause you know her stands be trying to low key come for me. Why are you bullying her? No, did she, no, girl? You know I, I'm never on Twitter. Did she say that? Did she say that the people? Okay, let me tell you something though. I saw somebody else do something like that. Where they were, you know, pretty much in their feelings because something somebody said. Hi, Lindsay. No, I, I'm going to need fucking you. Yeah, I, you know exactly, Melissa. I have to agree. It's like her camp is not doing her any good. Yeah, fuck me. They are starting to smoke again. 
Okay, let me say this. One more time. These motherfuckers gotta let this shit go. They have got to start letting it go. Do you think Beyonce and them don't be posting this shit? Real, real celebrities don't say shit. They let that shit ride and keep it moving. See, me, I be sending sh out shit like this. I <laughs> good one, girl, you got me. That's how you handle this shit. When you get in your emotions, you just let give these people more license to fuck with you. When you get in your emotions, now you can feel whatever type of way, but stop posting this shit. Because I'm telling you, my shit would be like, hey, you got me. Right, she's feeding the fire. I wish people would get that. My mama taught me that shit when I was young because my brother was relentless. He is six years older than me. Hey, oh nine, and he used to come, he used to drive me insane when I was a kid. I'd be crying, Daddy, 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 Mama. Why you, yeah? My mama said, you know what? If you would laugh at the stuff that he's saying about you, he would it would lose the fuck, it would lose his power. And I learned that. When people talk shit about you, laugh at it. Laugh with them because so what? That what they say doesn't matter. But these like I just saw before I go into new makeup releases, we're gonna let this sit on. I saw this one lady today. Let me tell y'all. I saw this one video today. And she was all, this one creator was all in her feelings, explaining herself and why she takes sponsorships. And somebody said they didn't like her videos and it bothers her because she wants to know why and blah, blah, blah. And I put so much work in. I was, it was like a wine bitch fest. It was a wine bitch fest. And I'm thinking, girl, you have a decent amount of followers. You get views. Fuck them people. <laughs> You ain't go I promise y'all, every time somebody says some ignorant shit to me, I put laughing emojis underneath it. Or I might tell them, thank you for the engagement. I appreciate your view. That's the kind of shit I do. Fuck you. I don't care. Right, exactly, Joshua. When you let them know what buttons to push, they're going to keep pushing them buttons. Ain't no, you can't push my buttons because I don't give a fuck. Now, nah. what, 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 what button can you push under that one? What button can you push? You can push the, damn, this hoe don't give a fuck. Let me leave her alone. That's the one you're going to push with me. Because I honestly don't care. I mean, child, please. This is what I get for caring about what some stranger writes or some shit I've said. Exactly. Exactly. Listen, I've been called all kind of stuff. What well, as they used to say, I've been called everything but the child of God. As you know, old folks say, I've been called everything but the child of God. And okay, and I'm gonna get keep getting called everything but. That's that's the problem with people. They take shit. That's why I tell my kids, students, y'all take shit too personal. Y'all let people bother you this much. They don't even work. They ain't even worth this kind of energy. If they sat there through your whole video and put something down, they gave they watch they give you a view and they gave you engagement. So press thank you so much. Now move on with my fucking day. Okay, I'm just like what? I mean, I mean to do a whole video. Listen, you know, let me tell you something. Big Booty Judy in the black community is a compliment all day long. Let me tell you this. Exactly. And you should know, oh, not, and that's it. If you know you're, you couldn't take it, then don't do it. But if you going to do this shit, it's, gonna come, it's coming. Somebody going to say some shit. Somebody got something to say. Somebody always going to have something to say. Fuck their asses. Listen, I think I'm too fucking fabulous to let some little minor peasant bother me. Oh, no, honey, that's for y'all, Michelle. I'm just telling you. I am telling you. This big booty was always in style in the black community. I'm just telling you. Now, it might be with everybody now, but honey, back in the set, back it went, honey. I ain't never had a problem with this booty back here. I was called Assasaurus by one of my friends. 
He said that if I had been a dinosaur, I would have been an assosaurus. And I was like, yeah, keep looking at this ass. Ain't it cute? Honey, big booties ain't never been out of style over here. Hey, Dana. All right. So, oh, shit, motherfucker. Right, exactly. See, y'all was y'all couldn't embrace y'all ass, so we could. It was part of our, that's part of our culture, baby. A big booty. Now, see, if you ain't got no booty, that's when you got problems in the black community. See, the opposite is holds true. In the black community, oh, she ain't got no ass. That will hurt your feelings. I promise you. More women in the black community get get upset about being called no ass than big ass. Big ass be like, hey, why you think twerking is so popular? I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just saying. Okay, so let me show y'all what I put on. I just put on um two things. I put on my I um is my benefit eye cream i'm really kind of like this i'm trying to use it up because i'm trying to start using things up so i'm about i'm working on this i've been using this stuff for a few months though this stuff goes a long way i still have quite a bit left uh i've been using this all summer and i had already used it a few months before and i put on my dermaputics hyaluronic lip which i need to get some more i get this on amazon this is a great great inexpensive serum Yes, they still make it, and it's really good. I was surprised. I bought this on um, last time. I think it was one of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty because I know I pay half prices. I pay like $19 for it, and it's not that expensive. It's like $38 for a nice size because, you know, eye creams are expensive as hell. You get half an ounce. If you think how much we pay for a half an ounce of shit, if you thought about how much it is per pound, they, they get no on us. Okay, so anyway... Right. Well, you know what I'm saying? It's not the best. I like it, though. It's It's been filling in my honey. Honey, it helps with these little lines on my face, so I'm good. You know, I got to look at it. So this is nice. This is a really good one. It's super cheap. I do have it on my Amazon page. It's not that expensive. However, if you can find it, I buy mine from Marshalls, no, no lie. See, this is this is transparency. I would love for you to get it on my Amazon page. However, you can always find this for like $7.99 at Marshalls or TJ Maxx because that's where I get mine because I need to go. Um, which one did you get from Dermalogica? The Power I Live? I think I have it. I'm I'm still I don't know about that one because I do have that one. I thought about it, I said I do have that one because I got it on sale too and I'm like mm, yeah I'm not sure about that one. It's very I will say this. Okay, why am I up? Because my black ass went to sleep at 6 p.m. So I slept for almost four hours. I slept for about four, uh, three or four hours. So I got up to do, yeah, it feels like a primer. It's very, it's got a little greasiness to it, doesn't mean Michelle. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I ain't gonna lie, I did. That's gonna be the problem. Hey, patients. But, but I was worn the fuck out. Okay, let me just tell y'all. What, 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 um, really okay i'm gonna have to try that one for nine dollars because trader joe's be having some good shit thank you keisha i ain't been in trader joe's in a minute okay so let me i'm talking real fast let me slow down okay so let me tell y'all about work first hey coco and then we're gonna get into the new releases as i finish up my face okay so ah uh, Okay, for two days they had us just sitting on our ass for hours. Eight hours pretty much of sitting on our ass in meetings. Now I I got y'all know I got junk back here. My ass hurt. You know, everybody's talking about I need more ass. I said, listen, I got all the ass up in here and my ass hurts too. So no, it's not gonna help. It's just this is just a lot. Now the other thing they've been having, I don't know if we're gonna have any more of these damn stories, but we've been having leadership stories because we got all these new leadership, right? I be sitting up there wanting to coach them since they all into coaching. I want to coach they ass on how to tell a story, how to tell a story about yourself. This shit is so painful to watch. O M G. It is so painful to watch 
I'd be like, and they make, and they're doing 30 minute life stories. You should be able to do 15 minutes times. 10 minutes is a good story. Stories about their life, Lindsay, like how they became, how they got here. You know, they're, I don't know, I'm confused. I'm confused. I don't, I can't even tell you what it's about because I be so, I mean, you know how you sitting there, but you're really not there. And you zoning out. That's me. That's me zoning. O U T. Hi, Mary. Right. I Keisha, because so we. I guess we're supposed to see that they're vulnerable, who they are, make us see that they're like us. Bitch, we all know y'all like us. We all got educations. We all have lived some life. Okay. I get it. And I'm trying not to be that person. And then we have to do a chant. Are y'all ready for this? Right, they're trying to be relatable, but at, we have to do what they call a huddle. Do I look like a chant person? Do I look like I'm gonna be like, Na 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 na. Do I? I mean, just tell me the truth. Do I look like I'm gonna be like all into it? And then, okay, we got all this new staff, and you can tell the staff that are you know trying to be like, yes, I'm so positive. I'm here. I'm here. And you know, hi, cat. Hey, hey. Now the chant is at the end of the day. And they like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got this chant thing. Now I'm not I'm not gonna tell okay, so they say the school name. I'm not gonna say the school name because for purposes of being non-disclosure, I don't want people coming to my school, but it's like blah blah, we would, and we supposed to go, are you ready? We would, we, we that's that's the call out. And then we supposed to go, we ready. We what? We ready. We what? We ready. Then comes the song. Now, y'all know I love a good song. Y'all know I love a good song. We ready. We ready. We ready for growth. One more time. We ready. <laughs> we ready. <laughs> we ready. Hey, sugar. For growth. One more time. Hey, my Lisa Lipstick. <laughs> now, hearing this, hearing this. Hearing this, hearing this, can you see me doing this? Well, see, they got all this new leadership, Joshua. So, um, <laughs> hey, Amy. So, I thank God there's a few people that I can look around at, right? But when they first did this, in my head, I was like, what in the fuck? Now, get this. We're going to have to do this three times a week. At the end of the day. I get you trying to make a positive, you know, a team. And you want everybody engaged and shit. But do you know that shit annoys me? Uh, annoys me. I am not that chick. And so I'm not going to down it but <laughs> while I'm there. But you, I'm one of them people. We ready. We ready. Yeah, we ready, we ready. I'm gonna start mouthing the words. You know how you got the people who just be mouthers? Cause I just can't make myself sing it. Yes, it does. Hi, Uncharted, it's, it, it will break some other people, so. Right. I have always hated this stuff. I have always hated 
things like this. I am right, right for growth, Lindsay. <laughs> I can't wait to see what they want these kids to do. It's worse because we have to do this shit three times a week at the end of our day before we go home. We have to get together and do this. Okay, next up, let me put this on so we can get into the um, new makeup releases. So I feel like I have, listen, good night, Mary, good night. Okay, we about to start the new makeup release. I feel like I am on a level of Dante. I'm, I feel like I'm in the inferno and I have hit the third level of hell. I feel like I'm in, I have hit the third level of hell, y'all. No lie. I, I just really do. Ooh la la, this is this vitamin C and retinol serum. Honey, this is this is a level of hell for me. To have to do this every day, this is a level of hell for me. I promise y'all. I feel like it's about the third level of hell. Because there's no way that this can be real life. I like I was like, are they serious about this shit? Are they serious? Oh, they for real. They for real. We about to do this all the time. And and this week we have to do it every day during PD. During professional development, we have to end the day with this. All right, let me get on trend mood and everybody and hot fire and let's talk. Hi, Crystal. Okay, <laughs> you got it. Oh, okay, that chance is going to be my new favorite thing. Are you new? You must be new. Well, they want us to get into it. Like, hey, hey, hey. You must be new. Hey, newbie. Cause ain't nothing about that sound like me. Nothing. Nothing. I can promise you that. I would never get into a chance. I promise that. I can I can promise that with every fiber of my being. Alright, so here we go. Let's check out some new releases. On, well, you know what here? Here's what I do, Crystal. Here's me. I've been trying to. I honestly have been giving it the try. In my head, because no, no. See, then they've already asked. You know, we're going to need other people to do this. And we got all this new staff. And so we already got one girl who already jumped up. I want to do it. I, I said, okay, yeah. So, and that is very true. Michelle is correct. Chanting is a big thing in cults because it, it mesmerizes you. It is. They do do that, though, because it's it's a that's one of the things they break you with. They make you chant for hours. All right. So here we go. Let's talk about what's coming out. Let's talk about some of the new stuff coming out. Right. It programs the brain. OK, that some good stuff. It's ch chanting is fun when I want to chant it. Okay, all right, Mary tonight. All right, so let's just talk about a few things that have come out. That's out right now. Okay, did we talk about Trend Moon's thing? Take care of yourself, Mary. Um, we talked about Trend Mood and Milani, didn't we? Her, spe her, spe her spectacular collaboration. I ain't mad at her. They paying her, so go and make your money trend. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. I am not mad at you. Now, let's talk about Bessame that came out with this Sleeping Beauty thing. Um, we got the little Sleeping Beauty right here. The Sleeping Beauty <laughs> the Sleeping Beauty collection. 
and it has um, translucent powder. It has an eyeshadow palette. Let me say this about, I, I still will not really pull the trigger on Best of Me a lot because I think that they're, they're a little pricey. Like their eyeshadow palette is $68. It is for two, four, it's for 20 shades. Besame, no, I'm not paying $68 for you, no. I'm, I'm sorry, Besame is like an indie company to me. I get it, they're kind of, they're kind of like known and stuff, but $68, I'm not paying $68 for your stuff. Now, let's talk about the palette itself though. I think it's pretty, right? But it's for, it's definitely for fair to medium tones. They, it's definitely, cause this is not made for any, I would be, I might get it. Now, if it goes on sale half price, I'll get it. If it's 30, if I can get it half price, I, I will get it. I will get it. Now it's 68, no, 34, no. Right, I like the packaging. Well, yeah, right, cause this is pale to fair. I'm gonna try it. If it goes down in price, I will get it just to see could I do anything with it, you know? You know, I would, you know what they're getting over? Here's what they're getting over on is their, their, um, market, their marketing, right? Um, because of their packaging and what they were about, you know, it does feel like a spring palette too. That's the other thing. It's coming out late in the season for, for the people who would actually wear this. It's actually kind of late in the season because that's a little pale you know and then you know they have that whole we we're making it like the old ones and everything but i think it's their packaging and their marketing so people kind of get off they figure they can get off on that i don't not to the point to pay the pricey the price point they want yeah right right so i mean their lipsticks nice and they do beautiful colors and everything but and I would, now I ain't gonna lie, on sale I'll buy it, that damn, this I'll buy, that's that that face palette, okay, I'll rock, rock that in the, in the winter time, that's a really pretty cool tone face palette, and their packaging is gorgeous, I will give them packaging, yeah, that face palette is nice, I could do that, I could, I could make that happen, y'all, I could definitely make that one happen, okay, so now let, we talked about Bessemer a little bit, um, the, the what that's 35 and that's kind of okay pricing for the size pans for 35 dollars is doable however it's even better when it goes on sale for like tw at least 20 percent off then it's even better but at 35 i if i was just throwing some money away i would possibly get it yeah yeah 35 i can make that happen for four th you know for four things i can make that happen but that $68 palette ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. Okay, so now let's talk about um, BH Cosmetics. And let me tell y'all something. Is it just me, before we get into BH Cosmetics, let's talk about them as a company. Is it just me or have you gotten to the point with BH Cosmetics that you have to be in a mindset to buy a bunch of stuff for BH? For one, it's a $45 um, ship, free shipping. And two, their shipping is so slow, I don't want to fuck with them. I don't want to deal with them too often. So for me to buy BH, it has to be, I may, I think I'm down to like maybe three times a year I buy some BH. And then I buy a huge amount of BH one time. Because I think I've only had one BH order this year. And I said, okay, when the, when the stuff, all the stuff I like so far has come out and they're all on sale, then I order from BH again because it takes so long that it's annoying to me so i don't want to deal with them too often okay see oh no i wouldn't know that because i have this belief system now with them that they take so long you know so i right i have to be in the bh hall thing now i'm gonna say this if you are in a bh hall mood some things you might want to look at is their bronzers their bronzers are I like the, the bronzers are nice. I don't like their lip products though at all. But so all that being said, so they have this, which is this take me to Ibiza. So now they are doubling down on this whole travel thing. You know, they've got the, this in London. Right. Yeah. Right. Or else just get brushes. Yeah. Because now I like that. Danny, their bronze is nice though. You might like their bronze. And I've kind of gotten out of these big palettes, so that's the other thing. So they got this Take Me to Ibiza. So I think the packaging is so cute. But am I going to buy it because I like the packaging? 
packaging i have oh they have really good quality brushes melissa it's not oh that's too bad because it is a really nice bronzer that makes sense though because yeah it's not that bad. so um hi dom you know what danny i think Winky Lux has deepened up their bronzers. Check them out. They have nice... If they've deepened up their colors, their shades on their bronzer, try Winky Lux. You will like theirs. Hello, hello, hello. All right. Now, let's just talk about the big elephant in the room. And I'm going to say some things about it. And then I'm going to say something else. Okay. What is going on with ABH, y'all? What is going on with ABH? who's coming up that who's coming up with this stuff so now we have the norvina collection part one and we have this we have this coming out so don't get me wrong i'm probably gonna buy this why because i haven't bought i have, seriously i have not bought a abh palette this year because they're coming out too soon and they're so many they so they look so much alike but they're not they can't be selling enough to justify all this you know what i'm saying i get you want to get your sales up but like this now in real talk um i'm gonna buy this i'm gonna buy this i mean i'm being real because i haven't i didn't buy the list i didn't buy the riviera i haven't gotten jack yana yet but I, this is like combining them all so i'm just being honest this is combining them all for me so i don't have to get all the um so i i can now get this one palette and it's like it's like a it's like they threw all of three of those palettes into this palette and i'm good so i'm just you know i mean i'm just being honest that's what it looks like. It looks like, oh, okay, so y'all just do everything in one. Okay, well, then I could just get this one. I ain't got to get all the bullshit that I didn't get already. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the purple one, yeah. See, that's my point. Um. Yeah, she did. See, here's my thing with that, is that why would you do this? yes exactly but i'm still getting it okay right i'm still getting it but here's the thing about that it it un, all of these releases have undermined each release before like the riviera came out everybody was on point right exactly everybody was like oh yes the riviera you finally did color you finally did color you finally did color and then you came out with right after that you come out with the Alyssa edward so now Everybody who bought the Riviera going, but this is very similar. Why would I buy it? So now Alyssa lost out because of the stacking you're doing. Yeah, it's, I agree. You know, so this is what they did. Now, you then after that, then uh, now Alyssa bear, Alyssa's out. And now we're going to come up to Jackie Ina. You know, um, so now people are like, oh, let me rush and get that Jackie Ina. Now, I was going to get the Jackie Ina. Let me be real. I was going to get, listen, I was going to get the Alyssa. I was going to get a couple of them when they went on sale, right? But now that you put this out, I don't have to do that. I can just buy this. And that just negates all those three that that I was thinking, of, that I was grappling on which ones I was going to get. I was going to get the Jackie. And then it was going to be between the Riviera and the Alyssa Edwards, which one I purchased. Now, I don't have to spend that much. That's $135, you know? That's what I'm saying. It is a mishmash of all of them. So now, as opposed to looking at all three of those and trying to figure out what two I was going to get, now I can just get this one right here. Right here. And I'm done. One and done. That's my thing. Exactly, Danny. It was like, you know... But here's the thing. I get everybody says they're trying to get themselves in a, it's $60 and it's for $25. Here's my thing with that. It only works if people are buying like that. See, they've already said sales were 30% 30, 30 down from last year in the first quarter. So first quarter numbers are out. 
they were 30% down at that point from the permit. Um, um, so, you know, it's like, what are you doing? See, these would have been okay if, listen, I would love it too, Coco, but it's like, what, what do I do now? This is cute. It got all the colors, pretty much all the colors I want in all of those, you know. So, but here's the problem with that. It's really not working because if they were going to, um, right, they are a little screwed. But who came up with this? Who came up with this timeline? That's my problem. You know, um, but I don't even say each season. What they should have done, here's what they should have done. They should have never put out the Riviera if they were going to put out the Alyssa and the Jackie. They could have gave up the Riviera. That's what they should have gave up. The Riviera could have came in another time. You know, so they could have done Alyssa Edwards. Pride Month. First thing you coming out with. Boom. Everybody would have been into it. There we have it. You know. Right? That. Oh, I like that. Right? Here we go. Alyssa. There. But see, it still would have been too early. Danny, look at where I'm going with this. Watch this. They should have started with Alyssa. That would have given them a lot of time in between some things. Um, so you got that. Then in the fall, because Jackie is kind of a fall palette, Jackie should have been coming out right now, right? At the end of August, beginning of September, because it's a beautiful, I look at it, I see beautiful fall looks, right? Fall, right there. Now, Norvina should have been their their hot beginning their holiday collection now it's not saying that it's going to be any you know it's not going to be permanent but it could have been we're coming out for holiday with norvina's collection and that would have made sense because you know norvina is norvina so they could be like we're coming with we coming with norvina's collection for some for christmas because we still got the holiday yeah that's where I'm going with this because that's where, and then it would have been spaced out and people would have bought all three of those. You know, now you got this Riviera, you brought up the Alyssa Edwards right behind it and everybody was like, well, they're kind of similar. So I, if I got the Riviera, I might not get the Alyssa Edwards. I swear, I bet you Alyssa's collab did not get the traction it should have because of the Riviera. Because you put that in front of it, the predecessor had already eaten sales. Now you did that. Now we have Jackie. So Jackie has a certain amount of sales, yes. But now you're going to come back with this one. Norvina, they're going to hope does well. But a lot of people have invested in the Jackie Ina palette. And a lot of them are going to go, but I can, I'm not going to get this one now. And that's what's going to happen. So I think that Norvina is going to be, and what it's also going to do is take away sales from Jackie's palette. Because like I said, I was still going to get her palette. But now that this is coming out, I'm like, well, fuck it. I'll just get this and I get a little more. And that's the problem with them putting them out so much. You know, and that's that's what's happening. Because, like, I'm like, fuck it. I can just get this. This kind of does it. You know, so. So they're going to be, this is going to hurt this. So if they are in the process of selling, if they don't have the ink, if they ain't got it in ink yet, this is going to affect, this could affect their price. Because if you if it ain't at the table, you know, if they're not at the table and they haven't signed them papers and it has not been in, if the ink ain't dried on that shit, that they're, um, yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, but if they, you know, cause then they could come back and say your valuation is off. So we're going to have to readdress how much we pay for you. You know, how much we put into you because your valuation is off because they're bringing down their valuation by doing this because people are not buying as much of it. You know, with all of this. So I, I understand. But I'm like, who was in your finance team? Who was in the finance department who didn't come, who didn't look at the ROI? Your finance and marketing team did not work together on this. Because this should have never happened this way if you were in 
that yeah they're screwing up their roi which means that this is going to affect their valuation of the company so if they have not sold out if they have not sold that interest yet and they ain't got paid out with it and it's and it's all signed all the paperwork is signed it's going they're going to lose money on this they're going to have to take a lower amount because of what they what they're doing right now that's right that's what I'm saying, Danny. It should have been coming out right. It should. They should have been announcing it now. And I, I even get why they did it because it was for her birthday. So they did the birthday. So it's the beginning of fall. People are thinking fall. So I even get that. But then Norvina should not be coming out in the same month. We're talking about Jackie's came out August 4th. This shit is coming out 22 days later. That's three weeks. That is insane. I get, like I said, I get that the whole thing with her birthday, but then Norvina should not be coming out 22 days. That ain't even a damn month. That's what I said. It should have been the holiday release. And Danny, was you gone? You wasn't hearing me. You was gone. You was doing something. I know because I just said that to you. It should have been the holiday release. Then it would have been made sense. Everybody who wanted Jackie would have gotten Jackie by then. And then, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> right but see here's the thing foundation and loose powders people gonna buy those separately cat but when it comes down to eyeshadow palettes we look at them and we're like oh well this is the same because let's be real foundation is foundation is foundation but if we're gonna try a new foundation we're going to try on you know right exactly joshua exactly i don't get it it just seems stupid now I'm gonna get it. Exactly, because you're talking. Exactly, you're talking about two two in a month. That's a hundred and some dollars. Who ever who gonna jump, drop that? I'm gonna have to pay, and I ain't gonna lie. Okay, so Two Face has come out. Oh, oh, you know that. Exactly. Okay, well I I dropped that kind of cash, but I ain't dropping it for two pallets for me. I, I ain't gonna lie, cause we know I dropped it like it's hot bitch i drop it like it's hot sometimes but yeah exactly right Ex oh no I, I get it i do agree but it's, this is just ridiculous on that and you got that right now without after pay um it just seems ridiculous from one company to do it like this it just doesn't make sense who came up with this timing who handled the timeline who okayed this timeline like yeah we're gonna put our jackets on the fourth then we're gonna put out yours on the 26th in the same day of month if they brought hers out if norvina's had come out in october if it high crest falling if it came out at the end of october it would have given enough breathing room for people to really from the other people to go get the jackie and still be in the mood because this is going to be around for a minute to get it so boom all right and and let's be real some of them colors that we can definitely see the color schemes in there because we've seen you can see a lot of the colors that were in those three palettes right there in there right But you can hold some stuff, Crystal. I mean, real. This is real talk. This is this is powder products. You ain't gotta um. You ain't gotta do all this. Okay, so now let's talk about this gingerbread extra spicy, by Too Faced. Okay, is it just me? I I don't I don't see extra spicy on this. Now I never did get the gingerbread one. I know everybody loves the gingerbread spice, but this doesn't look extra spicy to me. It looks about the same. Yeah, it is. Right. This is this is sprinkle of spice. This is now that's true crust falling. It looks like sprinkle of spice. Sprinkle of spice. What you want? A little sprinkle of spice on your food. That's sprinkle of spice. That is not extra spicy. I'm going to need them to know what extra spicy looks like because, okay, so I'm going to say this. 
let me just say this and i'm i'm gonna say see that's what i see michelle see you could say it for me thank you so much because thank you taco bell versus real mexican tacos thank you because okay so can i just say this let me just say this and this is ignorant on my part but i'm gonna say this and this is what you know this is what black people say and i don't buy into this but i'm just saying you know white people had this thing about where they say that you know white people don't spice up food the way we do that's what it looks like to me it's looked like um right well cat they say they do i have i I like the Just Peachy Mads, and it's a very good formula. They can be hit or miss. That's all I'm going to say. Two Face can be hit or miss. But I'm just saying, this is what people talk about there. They say it's bland. And so this looks like, oh, we put something spicy, but we're not going to make it too spicy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, we're going to call it extra spicy, but we're going to make That's like, you, okay, let me, let me say this. It's like, this is what it, it reminds me of. Now, I am, y'all know I eat everything. So one time I went to an Indian restaurant up north and I said, I was getting something, like, I was getting chicken vindaloo. I was getting chicken vindaloo. Now chicken vindaloo is very spicy. So I said, I want it hot. Now I know what Indian hot looks like cause I eat Indian food. I eat Thai food and I, but what I learned from my Thai friends is that you have to say Thai hot and make it clear. And I told these people, oh, I want, and they was like, you want it hot? I said, yes, I want it hot. Because I know what Vindaloo is supposed to taste like. You know, I'm like, I know what Vindaloo is supposed to taste like. They were like, okay. I was so angry because I was on the L, which L is, um, L is going on the, um, is like a train. Because I was coming from the north side all the way to the south side. Cause I was going to my magic store. Don't ask me about my magic store. So I was going to the magic store to get me a few spell things. Shut your mouth about who I am as a person. But I was going to my magic store, getting a few things. I was taking the train back. And so I'm on the train with my food and I taste it and it is bland as fuck. I was like, these motherfuckers gave me American Vindaloo. I was so irritated because I'm like, I asked for what I know what I want, which is Indian Vindaloo. I want some chicken Vindaloo, right? You know, I'm like, I was so irritated. I was so irritated. But I learned this from my Thai people is that a lot of, a lot of, you know, cultures like that, when they're here, they bring it down because they say they think we cannot handle, you know, their, their level of spice. And what they what they actually eat and that's why i told him i said no i want indian hot and he looked at me like bitch you don't know what you're talking about i was like luckily he wasn't nowhere near me because i'd have gone back and cussed his ass out okay now here's what we're going to talk about um color pop i told y'all right exactly right exactly so ColourPop, let's talk about their new palette and let's do some comparisons right here. Right here. Oh, what oh, we're gonna get to them too. I already ordered it, it's on the way. Um, they have the we have to talk about that too. Okay, so I we have right here the ColourPop Peach Collection. Hey, Kat and Moxie, don't y'all live in the same place? Oh, you're in Rahway? Okay, so here's the ColourPop Peach Collection. Did we not just do orange? Did we not just do orange? Did we not do orange? Let's pull out the orange, you glad. And we're going to pull out the soul. Let's just, let's just... Let's, I wish I had three hands, four hands, so I could really do this right for you. Three hands, so I could really do this right for you. But we're gonna look at these. Let's just let's just take these off, and we're gonna take the sweet talk. Hey, Janine. Hey, and let's just talk about the sweet talk. Okay, let's just put orange you glad right next to this bullshit right here. Let's 
let's look at these together. This is an easy pass. This ain't even a hard pass. This is an easy pass. This is like, you just look at it and go, hell no. They rearrange them. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Come on now. The shoe, super shots are nice, but I don't use them enough to, to warrant me buying them. And if I buy super shots, I buy them when they all go on sale. Why did you get both? I can't stand you. <laughs> right. Okay, but let's do this one then, Kelly. Where is it at? Where the fuck is it at? Oh, it's down here. Okay, Kelly, so now I'm really... I like super shots, but I only buy them when they on sale. I only buy them when they go buy one, get one free. They will do that around Christmas time. Hi, Lisa. And so then let's pull it up against the Sweet Talk also. Color Pop ain't getting me this time. I'm sorry. Y'all can't have me. Y'all can't have me on this one. Y'all cannot have me on this one. Now, and then I'm looking at, let me see this she have on this one. Is this the one that she got it on? And look at these blushes. Do they? We hold up, Lisa. We got you. We got you. Um, and then this right here. Okay, well, these are for every pale. The fair ladies, they got y'all on this one. <clears throat> Though, because I, I can't fuck with them. I, and we know I'm BGB. This is Colourpop. This is part of this peach collection, patience. But look at these. Look at these things. Are you serious? Are you serious? Now, you know I am BGB all day, but I'm not doing that. Go on. Go on, can't get what you want. Listen, I'm all about get what you want. Who that, I know, right, who that for? Right, they're blushes. They for you, Lisa. Lisa and Karen and, you know, y'all can get that. I, I, even in my BGB status, can't get that. I can't even get that. You know what I'm saying? In my BGB status, I, I have to take a, a pass on that. Because that ain't even, you know when I can wear these? In the deepest, darkest of winter time. I got a window of like two or three months where that's going to look right on me. That's what I got. A window of about two or three months. And after that, it's going to be like, no, bitch, you got a little sun on you. You can't wear these anymore. And that's okay. But, you know, just being real, I, I can't. No, it, it's that's a very small. Now, let's talk. Right, February only. February only. All right. So now, Miss Lisa, did you see this one? No. Lime crime is coming with the cool tones. Lime crime is coming with the two cool tones. Honey, let me tell you, being realistic, those are, would barely show up on even me. I yeah, I'd have to I'd have to lighten up to use those eyeshadows, and it ain't worth. So look, I, I'm this is lime crime, the new one, the new uh, Venus. I'm gonna have to get it. I'm going to have to get it, y'all. I'm going to have to get one. The day I, and I can work its cool tone. You just got to work it right, or not. You just got to work it right now. Oh, this is good. These are going to be some beautiful, smoky eyes for like, you know, holidays. You go into your... Yeah, the packaging, I love lime cream. It's bulky as hell, but I love their packaging. I'm just going to be real. But this is going to be such beautiful, smoky eyes, right? And she glows too. Oh. Oh. Hi, Jasmine. 
Right. And yeah. And and I think that would be really good on you. I think or not, I think you could do it. I think if you brought a little warm transition in, like she said, and just did, because I'm telling you that. Mm -mm. No, I love it. Daniel. Oh, I love it. Why? Okay. Who is this? Is this somebody new? Daniel, why would you think, why would you say it was being sarcasm? I love it. You know, now, am I a huge cool tone user? Not that much, but I still like to have some every once in a while. You know, you want to do you a nice little cool tone. Uh, I think it'll, girl, Janina look great with your, with your gray hair. It'll look great with your gray hair. Oh, honey, a beautiful smoky eye in those colors. It is going to pop with your gray hair. That silver with that little silver. Ah, uh, that is going to look good. I'm telling you, it's going to look fabulous. Trust me. You will be surprised. You will be surprised how right snort. Look, I'm, I want the storm look. I'm, I'm want that shit please <laughs> there was something else i want to talk about let me see let me go on hot fire because i think i saw something else oh oh i know what i saw hold on let me see if i can find it if they got it up honey right storm is gorgeous honey honey okay let me just show y'all something that I got to get. I got to get this one. I got to get this one. This bitch is gorgeous. Come on, play. Okay, it's the vintage rose. Look at how beautiful this. Open it up, hole. Did you, I felt, I felt that, I felt that. Did you feel it? I felt it. I felt it. I know it sells out in seconds and I get paid on the 30th. I felt it. This is Give Me Glow Cap Cosmetics. It goes live at noon Central Standard Time on the 30th. Right, these bitches be going out. And I will say, don't you love it when this is what I love though? It's eight pans. Number one is eight pans. And it's true to this. Right. I'm trying to get that olive palette too. How much is this one? I don't see where it is. I will get the price and let y'all know if I, I we gonna get this price in. But don't you love when they say it's vintage rose, and it is actually what they say it is, you know? Because I cannot stand when they like, you know, play with my emotions, and then it really doesn't live up to the color scheme that you envision for something like this. This is very vintage rose. You know, but but it it is a very vintage rose, right? Unlike the extra spicy, right? Because you know who does that. Um, I've heard good things about it, um, so we'll see. You just got what today, so we gonna see how it is. And so that's because I'm gonna tell you who irritates me is Nabla Cosmetics. Because Nabla Cosmetics does very beautiful packaging. From every time I see their packaging, I'm like, yes, this is going to be gorgeous. And then they need to, um, and then you look at it and it's like, what? Okay. No, because I'm t I still haven't bought the 
bought bit the bullet on them either. Um, right, exactly. I was like, I was like, oh yes, that poison garden palette. I was looking, I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be gorgeous. And it was like, oh no, oh, no, no, no. So that's that's one of those things that so that's why I'm so intrigued with this because it really does speak to what we're what our expectations would be for a palette that like that and so that's what it does you know so this speaks to our expectations makes me feel good about it i'm like yes this is going to be good and that's what you want from when they tell you something like vintage rose you want to feel like yeah it's going to be that and then you see it and you're like shut your mouth so i'm happy i'm happy I'm just letting y'all know I'm happy. You know? Right. So, and so I, I'm, I'm real cool with it. Let me see, do they have anything else? Let me see, do I see? Um, they still, they ain't said how much the damn thing costs though. They just keep saying it's, it's coming out. But Gimme Glow can be a little expensive. Yes, I do like. I've seen. Oh, let's talk about the new Urban Decay. Thank you. Thank you. We have seen that one. Let's go back to her. I forgot about her. Yes, we have seen the Honey Palette. We have seen the Honey Palette. Okay, but let's talk about a couple of other things that's coming out too. Okay, let's talk about that. And then there's a couple of other things we need to, to go over. Let's just do some, we just do some stuff here. Why did I say it? Okay, so here it is. Now, as Kid has said, this is sort of honey-like. Because honey is not yellow. So it is kind of honey-like. So it is honey-like. If you think honey, honey is more brownish golden. Honey is golden. It's not really yellow. So it is very honey-like. Um, hence why I always want to be honey. Let's think about this. Think about why I'm always trying to go for honey. Because honey is a nice golden color. However, this is kind of boring. It is kind of boring. I mean, y'all know I gotta. I think I'm honey. And I don't think I'm yellow, so I gotta think I'm gold. Right, so honey comes in, uh, but really, if you think about it, Joshua, all of these are monochromatic. The Naked Heat is a monochromatic one. Cherry is monochromatic. So it kind of goes like we're loving ColourPop for monochromatic. Why can't we love Urban Decay? I'm just throwing that out there. I'm just throwing that out there for us to really think about that. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this. I'm going to tell y'all this this is cute to me now let's talk extra spicy now look at this one this is the palm springs dream by Too faced can i say this is better looking than the extra spicy palette can we say can we all agree that this is um right can we say that this is more spicy then the spicy one because this is cute to me this is cute to me it's probably gonna be cheaper too i never bought the pretty rich because that whole vibe was irritating me showing us so i ain't gonna lie hey sarah so i mean but that's it that's more spicy than the extra spicy right it, right it's cute and less expensive now let's just talk about the power palette yes i have it coming so the power is coming. It's on its way. So I do have the power palette coming. Y'all know I'm a fan girl, so it's coming. It's coming. I got it. I got it. Y'all know I was gonna get it though, right? Y'all knew that. And I got some I got blushes. Y'all know Viva. This is power is a show is a show on uh and color rain. So color rain has a collab with power. So um, let me see if I can find a better one for you. 
Do we have more there? Okay, here it is. Oh, look at those. Now, I want to say I, the, the full collection didn't do it for me. I bought one lipstick. Um... So I bought a couple of high, I bought a couple of the blushes because two of them were too dark for me. Two of them were made for deeper skin skin tones. Um, then so two were made for medium and stuff. So I got those two, and I bought a lipstick. So I didn't go all out because a the the lipstick colors. I was thinking because I do have some color rain lipsticks and I already have some deep colors. Let me see which ones I got. Where the hell are they? Yeah. yeah, I have no, these are two faced. This is colored green. I thought I had another one. Okay, but I do have at least one. I thought I bought two though when they were on sale. Um, if she had had all tube lipsticks, because two of my liquid lipsticks, if the red had been a tube lipstick, I would have bought that, but it wasn't, so I got the one. Yeah, because see, I already have a really deep eggplant color from her. This is boudoir. So I have this right here. So I have this deep burgundy from her. So it was like, I was looking at the colors. I said, well, no, nah, I don't really need those right now. However, we are going to have a massive, they are to me. Right. So, you know, and I do like their formulation. And let, let me say, I do like their liquid lipstick formulation i have some of them i think they're really lovely they're nice you know see for me for a liquid lipstick i like thin ones i like them to be thin and dry down i don't like that thick feeling so i like them to feel like they're not on my lips and that's what they do um so i so i have theirs and that's the way theirs are they're very similar to the Jordana ones. If you have the Jordana ones, they're very similar. So I like the liquid lipsticks, but I'm just not into liquid lipsticks right now. So I'm going to do a massive declutter of liquid lipsticks um, to make room for regular lipsticks, of course. But I just feel like this. I'm not really using them. I'm really not. And I don't see myself using a lot of them. So I'm just going to take the ones that I really, really like. And then the rest I'm going to get rid of. Because it's, it's no point. Right. Exactly, Joshua. And that's my point. So there's you would like. You could. Right. Exactly. So um, there's you would like. Because it's a very, you know, thin formula where you don't feel it. And it doesn't crack off. So once it's on, it's on. But it's not that dry feeling on your lips. So I like theirs. But I'm more out of, I'm kind of out of that. Well, they're kind of hard. I don't know. I do pretty good at decluttering lipsticks, but um, but uh, <laughs> but I'm just I'm just on this whole. Let's just get rid of this shit because you're really not gonna wear it. And then that frees me up to buy more two lipsticks that I want. I'm just being honest with myself. I'm just being real with y'all because you know this is a this is a space of real realness. That if I get rid of all these little lipsticks, it justifies me buying the, the tubes because then I don't feel like, bitch, you have way too much. Then I can say, I don't have that much. Really, in the grand scheme of my life, I don't have that much. This is, this is you got to think about the logic of all of this. Oh, let me put this on now. So I'm putting on the CEO Glow by Sunday Riley. Right? And that's the other thing. It's not so much that, but I'm kind of getting back into glosses. So I like my... No. Uh, so I like my glosses. Actually, I'll do a liquid lipstick with a little gloss over. You know what, Dan? You have to be really light-handed with the gloss. You can't just put it on your gloss like you do the, normally. I usually put it on my fingers and dab it on. I swear to y'all, when I'm awake... I swear to y'all, when I'm awake, we're going to do the whole, I'm going to do the drugstore tutorial, back to school tutorial we should have had, including pigtails. I'm just telling y'all, we're going to have the full, we're going to have the pigtails in. What's my favorite oil? This one right here, but it's the one that I make myself. 
but I'm using this because I'm trying it out. So this is this is my oil. <laughs> so this is my favorite one. This is the one I make for myself. Lisa has it. Karen has it. Right? So yeah. So that's uh I know I gotta okay, no, 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 nah, I know. Lisa, I'm not doing 487 powders. Do you? Okay. I should have. I got some more. Bring back when you come for the makeup show, bring your bottle and I'll fill it up because I have some more around here. Yeah, I got some more around here. I haven't made any in a while. I got to find my recipe again. It's in a notebook or something. <laughs> you know what? Uh, um, no, I do layer. I do a little layering. Okay, so I do have to, okay, I got, do I have a, I will go on and get, no, I, okay, listen to me right here. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to do it the way I think it should have been done. I am not coming out with, I'm, we're not doing the Jacqueline Hill. We, no, we, <laughs> we are not doing the Jacqueline We're do, We are being inspired by her. This is the inspiration for her. You know what? Y'all not gonna have me out here looking crazy as fuck. I'm, I'm, I know Jacqueline is trying to get everybody to look crazy as hell, but Lou is not going to look crazy. Right, I am inspired to actually do what we think it should have looked like. How about that? Oh, you talking about the highlighter that was right here? I know y'all know me better than that because that's the whole point. Of it. But the, the highlighter that was right here and then the next one, it was just like, if you're saying that you're doing this easy breezy one, but then you use a hundred thousand products, um, I will look like a sex worker, won't I? No, because I have a new lipstick. And remember, that was the issue, you know, <laughs> right, right. The, that was the whole point of it. It was like, you're telling people to do this easy drugstore you know, back to school. Back to school is about ease and getting out the damn door. Who's going to be doing all them powders? Who's going to be doing all them powders? You know, who's doing all that? She, come on, she used 50, she did 15 times 10, 150. Don't be lying on her, oh no. I mean, 15, 15 products is a lot going out the door anyway. You trying to minimize. You were supposed to be doing some eyebrow gel, maybe some concealer, a little powder foundation. You know, you know what? That is, Melissa, that is the challenge. Me finding a drugstore, you know, an affordable lip liner. I have a whole, I have a whole cup of them. Cause I bought 50 of them for $30, but Hey, we're not talk. but those you can't get in the drugstore. So I have to do a drug store brand. Right. Man, right. Miss class. I'd have just been like, I ain't going to class today. I'd be like, I, I don't. I'm not going to class today. Fuck you. I'm done all this to my face. I'm going out and being seen. See that what her look was is for you being on the quad. If you're in college, you're going to whatever college you're at, you're going to the quad to sit in the quad and be cute because it's summertime and you got your face on and you want to you try to get chose. Now that's that was a chose look. I'm about to get chose. I'm going to sit at the quad and get chose. I'm going to the quad. I'm about to get closed. Chose right now. She's ne well. She's never well. No. Well, remember. Uh, see, listen. You can't let go of the kids, Michelle. So that makes sense. You know. You know. Your hand press the bouncy right because you're gonna be out there like this. Hey. Hey y'all, hey. That's what your look says. That doing all that, that's what you're doing because this is not going to class look. This is we you know <laughs> I can't stand you, Kelly. 
<laughs> you know <laughs> but that's what i'm saying that was what you was doing you was going out there to go on to get chose because you sure wasn't doing this to just be hanging out right you can't do that you can't do that michelle especially because they're trying to talk right exactly well you know what the kids that they, the kids ain't does shit Shit. So you can ignore them and keep the kids. You know, like my nephew, which reminds me, I gotta text him. He, him and DJ are, you know, have reconnected, and he's my nephew, and you know, the ex is the demon. So hey, Ra Ra is B's ex, but Ra Ra makes it, you know, over. Which reminds me, I got to see her. Maybe I'll get her next weekend. I'll be, I'll have some money. Let me see if she's gonna be over twins. Oh yeah, them exes suck, but babies, them babies still deserve us. Might have them over next weekend. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Have my girls over. Have my girls over next weekend, cause they can't come this weekend, cause bitches broke. Bitches broke. We got food in the house, but she vegetarian. My Ra's mom is vegetarian, so that means I got to do some bit. Actually, no, I can do. Okay. That was a long conversation with myself. All right, so we've done new makeup releases. What else have we done? We, we went through a lot of new makeup releases. We have done the business tonight. All right, y'all. All right. I got to go back to bed. I know this is sad and pathetic. We knew, didn't we all tell me this? We all knew. Even B said, Mom, do not go to sleep. Do not fall out when you get here because you're going to be up in the minute. You're not going to sleep right. Well, we wasn't, no, we wasn't really shady. What we said was it really is a honey palette and it's monochromatic. So the thing is, is that we are, I should show y'all my, let me tell y'all. Um, I got to get ready for my chant. Okay. We go in this on a chant. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for the, y'all ready? We're going we're gonna to sing the song. We're going to sing the song. We ready. We ready. We ready for growth. One more time. We ready. We ready. We, I'm liking that one. For bed. Let's do it again. We ready. We ready. We ready for bed. All right, that's what I'm gonna be thinking in my head. That's what's gonna be in my head. So now we done fucked it up, Kelly. Cause in my head, I'm gonna be singing for bed. They're gonna be talking for growth, and in my head, I'm gonna be like, oh, okay. They ain't gonna never get that from me though. Um. I have, I'm okay in the morning. See, by 3.45, that is gone. That energy is done. Let's just be honest. That kind of energy is my, that's my morning energy. At the end of the day, it's not going to happen. It's going to be, I want to go home and I want to go sleep. All right, good night, y'all. Y'all have a great night.